So start of another week, start of another video. I haven't done any proper training since last Thursday because I've had this trap nerve in my neck. I did go for a short run on Sunday. I struggled through it. Yesterday it was f agony to the point where I couldn't get out of bed. But I've been to see a specialist today. I don't know what she did, but there was a f almighty crack and the pain sort of subsided instantly but it's going to be stiff as f for the next couple of days I've been told that I can deal with the pain I couldn't so I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the afternoon now maybe try and take Zach for a walk later on but no cycling for the early part of this week We'll try and make up for it at the end. I'm really hoping this doesn't set me back too much. I'm really hoping that when I go back to see the specialist, they don't tell me that I can't do the run. Because I've been quietly looking forward to this now for months. Right, today's Tuesday. Uh, I was supposed to have my bike back last Friday, but when I rang the shop they hadn't had the part in to fix it. So that means I'm not getting it back now till tomorrow. Which is a little bit pissed off about, because I'd rather be out on a bike. After about 10 minutes on the exercise bike it gets a bit boring, so I'd rather be out on the road. Yeah. So follow the links, please donate. Uh, it's all for a good cause. Five weeks until we do it, and... I'm getting quite excited about it, to be honest, I don't know what the, uh, the other boys are, and Christy obviously, are thinking about it. So, uh, how's the training going? Well, not so good recently, been very, very, very busy. Uh, went to a festival, not last weekend, the weekend before. Uh, we went to Sonnet's Fair, which was a lot of fun, but obviously not a lot of cycling got done. It's good, good endurance then. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then... Uh, really busy all last week. I did have my first accident, which is healing nicely, or oh, it's very itchy and annoying. But I got back on, it was fine. It was the most pathetic accident. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened, but it was from standing position, so not much. Uh, but I got over the embarrassment, got back on the bike, so I'm fine. And then last weekend we were at a wedding, which was beautiful uh, but again no cycling got done. The only other big thing that's uh, happened is I've managed to make it all the way up the hill from Stokescroft which is a huge huge hill and in my brain was impossible to do um, but I managed to do it and I was elated when I finished it probably very annoying for a while after that uh, but yeah I think I'm now reaching a point where I am I'm confident on the bike. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Confidence. Yeah. Um, I think it's a brilliant idea, these four boys doing the ride. Three boys, three one, boys girl. one girl, sorry, for the charity. I'm extra proud of Mark because he's come on so well and for someone who hasn't exercised or been even interested in exercising for years, I think he'd come out brilliant. So Tom, what do you think about this challenge I'm doing? I think the challenge you're doing is going to be quite tricky. It's going to be hard work. 80 miles in one day is pretty mental really. But we should do it. I'll be there. Support and everything. How do you think, how do you think my training is going? Uh, it's going okay. I think you're going to intensify it over the next few weeks, so it should be fine. Do you think any problems will occur? Uh, long hills. I hear Wales has quite a lot of hills. And is there anything else you want to add? Um, wrap up warm, not too warm because you'll get sweaty. Make sure you have lots of water and always, always uh, lifesaver check when you're doing anything for any manoeuvre, left, right, up, down, whatever, just a glance over your shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Okay. Cool. Good luck. Thank you. 
So first day out on the bike today after more than a week I'm gonna go out no matter what. It's looking a little bit grey out. But I'm just gonna do a short one just to see if my neck holds out. I kinda hope it does, otherwise I've done all this training for nothing. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> So far so good. Cemetery Road almost killed me. That's got nothing to do with my neck, it's just because I'm f***ing unfit. I've had the odd little twinge. But nowhere near to the amount of pain I had last week. Let's see how far I can go though. That ended up not being too bad in the end. I only intended to go out on a short run just to see if my neck would hold out. And my short run is usually just up to Cairo and back, which totals to about just over five miles. But I ended up keeping on going. I had the odd twinge in my neck and the rain held off. So that I'll push it as far as I could. I ended up doing four laps of my usual route, which totals to about 22 miles. My neck wasn't too bad, it's a little bit stiff. Probably be even stiffer by tomorrow. I'm not going to have a rest day tomorrow unless I'm in agony. I'm just going to go out. i got two days off now, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow I plan on uh, doing quite a long run again. Right, I've had my bike back, finally, after two weeks. So now it's back on the bike, do as much as I can now to make up for lost time. Uh, cycling in the living room just got boring, to be perfectly honest, so I haven't been doing it for the last couple of days. This uh, ride now is going to be basically like going back from the beginning. Might just try and get a couple of miles in today just to break easy back into it. I'm going on another ride in the morning before work. I'll probably try and cycle to work on the weekend. Yeah, this is fun. Well that's another ride done for today. Didn't go as far as I did yesterday, I only did 19 miles. Bit cut there about that, I thought it was going to be a bit further. But when I checked my uh, Strava app, it was 19. Training's going to hit the higher gear next week. And the week after it's going to be full on, because I've got a week off. Every ride I'm going to do is going to be above 25 miles. It's got to be. Don't forget the barbecue next Sunday on the 27th, up in the pavilion in Mystic Park. Tickets are a fiver, you can get them in Travellers or by a slot. There'll be entertainment provided by the rocking chairs. Well, some of you might know them as the Jam Night Boys. Should be a good laugh if the weather holds out. But then again, burger and beers, what's not to enjoy? Well, thanks for watching. Hi, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want any information on the Garmin Trust, check the links. Uh, and if you want to give us any money online, which is a new fangled thing, um, just follow the links at the bottom. Follow the links to give us some money. Give us some money because it's really, really important. Please sponsor us, either by using the link or by coming to see us personally, or drop into Travellers. There's a sponsor form there as well. It's getting ever closer now, so the more sponsorship we can get, the better. It'll give us that fight to go on. We're not doing it for fun. Well, a little bit of fun, but mainly to get more money. So the more money you give, the better it'll be for charity. Give the video the thumbs up. Give us a big thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our lovely videos. Subscribe to the channel. Please watch us again next week. 
thank you very much. Keep on watching. See you soon. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>